YouTube, what's good, family? So, we got a sunny day, decent weather. Now, since I put these in the port, and since I added the tweeters, sounding good, by the way. But anyway, since I put these in the port to change the tuning of the port, I want to try and see what it does on the meter before... I put the C-Max in here and I want to see how much of a difference, I want to see how much of a difference the port change the, did already. And then after that, I want to see how much of a difference the C-Max makes compared to the batteries that I have in there. And then we'll get an alternator and we'll see the difference the alternator does. So stay tuned in, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to get her started up and we're going to see what's going on. Let's get it. YouTube. All right, family. I'm back. So, after a few adjustments on the crossover and the EQ and the port changes, all I did was change it or close it in an inch and a half basically that's two pieces of three quarter so that closes it in an inch and a half which made it 38 hertz changing that we got can you guys see that 151.8 on the ground zeros 151.8 and at 37 hertz. You guys see that? I oh, know that song's killing it. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, 151.8 at 37 hertz. Ground zeros for the win. And like I said, just changing the port and changing some settings on the crossover. I didn't touch the amp. I just did the settings on the crossover on the radio and change this port and we did a 151 so I'd say these speakers are breaking in for one and I'd say that 5k amp is doing work so that's what we got now I'm not going to change any more settings I'm just going to swap the battery out and uh, put in the uh, C-Max I'm going to put the C-Max 45 amp hour in, and we're going to see if it makes a difference in the numbers. It's only adding reserve. I still have a factory alternator, so it can't charge it as fast as it needs to, but the discharge rate on the C-Max is way higher than the discharge rate on the batteries that I have now. So, therefore... It's a little bit more reserved and the discharge rate's higher. So therefore, it should perform a lot better than what I got. So I'm going to see how much of a difference that's going to make on the meter. But yes, you see what it was. Let me get it. Oh, God, hit the button, hit the button mode. All right, there you see. If you can see that again, 151.8. One fifty one point eight. Samantha doing work with them ground zeros. Ground zero for the win. Let's get it. All right, family. So I'm back. So I got the batteries out. Since I have to take these batteries out so I can try this C Max, I'm gonna go ahead and run this extra run a wire if y'all can see that it's zero gauge uh welding wire i had i've been had it i just never put it in here but since i already had to take this out to try to fit that c-max in here you know why not go ahead and run an extra run a wire y'all already know the ones that follow me know i put this cheap wire which is not OFC wire in here when I first got my truck because I didn't have any money considering I was bought the truck. <laughs> but anyway, that wire's been doing good. 
or whatever is basically being used for a charging wire because I have the batteries back here but I got the wire I already take the batteries out why not run the wire so I'm gonna go ahead and run that wire and if you recall those of you who have been following my channel you know when I made the fuse block I made it with two so I can run two runs of wire so I just need to run one more run of wire so that's what I'm about to do so stay tuned in we should have well I ain't gonna lie it's about to rain it's really looking dark but I'm gonna see if I can get this done I'm about to jump up under the bottom run this wire down under the frame and uh I seen a grommet under the bottom, so I'm gonna see if I can get that poked out and run this wire in that grommet. And the second run of wire will be ran. And I know this bumped the power up tremendously because, yeah, this wire compared to this wire. This wire right here is full copper, and this right here is not. This wire is half and half. It's been good wire, don't get me wrong. It's been in here ever since I bought the truck, which is, is what, a year ago? And uh, you see it's not burnt up on the ends, so can't see it did bad. But yeah, stay tuned in. We'll get this run of wire ran, and we're going to see what this 5K do on the C-Max. Let's get it. All right. What's up, YouTube? I'm back, fam. So, it ain't got all the way dark, but... I don't know if you can tell. It's freaking raining. See all the raindrops on there. Well, just a quick update. This right here. For one, I made a mistake early. This is actually double zero. This ain't zero. I meant to say double zero. So, right, here's my run of double zero from the front or whatever. I got it done. It's coming around under the car, up under the truck or whatever. Uh, I run another ground right here for the time being for quickness is a run a double zero in the front so I got that ran and I got all my wires situated like I got the ends so I crimp the ends on that one all I gotta do is hook it to the positive then I crimp the ends all oh, you can't see up in there but the other one on the negative see it right there I crimped the end on that one that one already so, all I have left to do is, here's my positive lead coming from my amp. So, basically, all I have to do is put my ends in the front to connect that one to the fuse block and just connect the battery and I'll be done. So, sorry I didn't get to finish it. I got to get out of this rain. Like, share, subscribe, and you already know, next video, I will be seeing what this thing will do with the C-Max. The C-Max is almost in. I'm almost done. So as soon as it stops raining, I'll come out here and hook it up in the front. And all I got to do is hook those ends to the battery, and I'm done. Because all these ends are back here are already straight, ready to go. All I got to do is hook them up. So I got to put one more wire lug on the end under the hood. It should be ready. So stay tuned in for that next video. We're going to see how much of a difference a, a run of double zero full copper wire and a C-Max makes. Because when I hook it back up, I'm not going to run this one. I'm going to run the new double zero run by itself on the one fuse just to see if you change over from half and half wire to full copper and double zero and then add a C-Max. We're going to see what difference that will make on the meter.